so here is my final result because I know some people are just want to see this and they're going to click out of the video so if you do and you like it go ahead and do it there and then if it works for you and you get a better fire strike video then come back and watch the rest and give me a like so 179 1190 puts me at 8200 1420 and 135 and then I've got all my votes just cranking this is on stock bows so here we will actually get into the details to start out I came up with that's actually number two I came up with this right here 1391 1392 somewhere in there so what I was doing is with GPU Z you see your core clock here under your sensors when you run originally set your memory clock to zero set your GPU clock to uh, about 1550 1500 somewhere in there and then keep an eye on this and see what you keep on coming up seeing somewhere in the 13s or 14s as a solid base time to time because you've got this crank so much and just have this on a hundred percent you can do 130 see if you notice much of a difference 130 Five, 139 see if you see much of a difference whatever but see if any of you get anything showing up what I kept on getting I kept on getting 1391 quite quite often with this cranked really high no memory so that's what I used as my base 1391 and then you know you notice that was there was a lot of negative returns there just cranking this to 1550 or whatever I got a lot worse scores you know the scores you know 500 600 700 lower and stuff like this and it wouldn't base it would be all over the place you know so, so what I ended up is going to 1391 now it would actually shoot up instead up into the mid 1500s where it would now go and stay in the 1550s by actually having this lower instead of higher and I could also increase my memory clock so added 500 as just a base and it was very stable I game on this a lot you could game on this 12 hours and have no issues. Uh, I actually increased it some, so now I have, you notice. So that was my basis point of what I did and how I got it. And now I'm on 1400 and 690, so I went from 500 up to that to give me 770. And this is what I game on. This is my gaming overclock. I do five hours of Metal Gear Solid or whatever with this and I have no issue whatsoever with everything completely cranked. So you can see 135 voltage is cranked uh, 1400 and 770. Now here is when we first get the first one with a benchmark that I've got. So you can see I have 8002 with plus 992 and 1400 with 159. Now you could increase this to 1420 if you wanted to, so 179. But in here I don't have it. I've got my power 135, voltage is crank, offset crank. And here is the maximum overclock that I have. I have not pushed it harder than this to see how much I could I could probably squeeze a little bit more out of it, fine tune it a little more. But to me, this is good for me because like I said, I don't even game with it even close to this high, you know. I game with it on this one right here. 770 and 1400. So here we go again. This is my maximum. So 1190 for 8200 and 179 for 1420. Here are the results here. And I want you to take note too because I also want you to see how uh, CPU calculates into this, how much of a difference it makes. 4.3 gigahertz and 4.5 gigahertz and you'll notice that on this 4.5 the extra 200 gigahertz is netting me like 2 percent 5, 7, 5 and a half, 7 combined it really fix, affects your physics and your combined scores mostly uh, yeah see physics physics combined all of those really shoot up the roof but you can see here how much better my graphics was here 2 percent on graphics test one. Now these graphics tests would have been much higher on these as well with a higher overclock because that would further uh, exponentially increase the graphics score as well 
in addition to the CPU alone being being uh, you know increased you know so this score would have shot up had I had 4.5 when I did this run over here instead of 4.3 this would have been much higher probably 17,400 ish if I was to guess now this is on Windows 7 also so on Windows 10 you could probably add another two three hundred points especially since you'll see down here especially since you see that I was running with 12 threads six cores one CPU running 12 threads so uh, oh, my bad it's not showing up on the video let me scroll down a little more oh, and to do that I have to expand some more there we go okay so one CPU 12 threads and six cores so and you can see Windows 7 now too okay so anyways to go ahead and mention it also this is on a x58a ud5 gigabyte yes that means that I am on like three or four generation old hardware that means that we are getting these kind of scores on a system that is from 2008 uh, I believe November 2008 is when we had these and then uh, you had these CPUs x 5675s released in February of 2011 so yes those are like four years old also so uh, in the, like, like I was saying I haven't benched in about a month so you see how you know there we go August and September and this is on about a four day spree of me kind of trying to figure out this card so uh, so yeah there's you know September August so anyways that's my settings you know this is you know 13 1311 1333 this is with the better one for the graphics wise this one is better for CPU so this is your settings here on this one so if you had this and then increased your CPU by another you know 0.2 gigahertz or another 0.5 gigahertz then you could really see some really impressive fire strikes. So I hope uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Maybe y'all got something out of it. Uh, these are my settings once again. That's my maximum overclock. This one is a little bit lower, and then this one is my gaming overclock. What I do pretty much 24/7 when I'm gaming. And when I'm not gaming and the computer's just setting idle and I'm not really doing anything, then I just have it on my basic normal. And that's what I'm going to leave it on for now. So you ladies and gentlemen, have a good one. And uh hope you liked the video. So leave it a thumbs up if you did. Post links to your uh, scores. Uh, run some fire strikes for some of these. And if you see an improvement, then post it in the video and uh, give me your take and let me know if you enjoyed the video and if you got anything out of it or if it helped improve your fire strike scores uh, y'all have a good one see ya